service activities and charitable causes. Indrama believed that education was the path to excellence for women and as many of us here know, she was always a class by herself, dignified with a unique style and a rare charisma that drew many of us to admire her. In fact, my eyes keep going back to the left wing here because that was a place where, would she, where she would pick a seat and I find a lacuna there which is hard to believe and accept. I have seen Indrama many times, met her a few times and spent value time with her fewer times. Yet, just watching her, I have always drawn inspiration from this great woman who possessed sterling traits and thus consider myself extremely fortunate and blessed to be chosen by the esteemed committee for this award instituted for the first time this year during the Navaratri season in her memory. A woman is like a full circle. Within her is the power to create, nurture and transform. As my very first guru, it was my mother Chudamani who initiated me into Carnatic music, walked me by the hand and nurtured this sapling, giving it the time, space and freedom to grow, leading me to the right gurus who further shaped and molded my career. Chudamani crafted and sculpted my ideas and values along with the music into the person you see before you today. Thank you, Amma. It has been a wondrous journey in the realm of music over the last 30 years, learning a lot and learning a little. The turning point and defining point came when Chudamanyamma put me, rather transferred me into the hands of the legend Sangeeta Kalanidhi, Padma Bhushan, Dr. Enmal Vasanta Kumari. I take, I take the privilege and pride and humility at the same time to place this prestigious award at her lotus feet. Learning at the feet of MLD Amma, accompanying her for 13 years was like going back to school. And then, as she pushed me forward, I rose to stand on my own feet from a humble beginning of participation in music competitions, as Mr. Murli mentioned, to graduating to solo performances. Even at the Music Academy, I still remember the 12 o'clock noon concert that I sang, then was promoted to the 1.30, and then sub-senior, and later senior. I owe just every single note that I produce to ML Yama. On many occasions, ML Yama has spoken about her friendship with Indrama and has cherished that very much. In fact, I think she even taught a few kritis to Srimati Indra Sivisailam. The precious treasure of music gifted to me by the grace of the Almighty soon added wings to itself and made me travel widely across the world, reaching out this divine art to yonder land, even to those crevices that have never had a flavor of Carnatic music. Would this journey have been possible just on my own, just by my dedication, hard work and efforts? Never. On this journey have been with me, my family, my friends, my ardent rasikas, my students, my well-wishers, my respected and affectionate accompanying artists, organizers who have promoted me, and of course, the media. Thank you seems an oft-used word, but I think there is none other to replace it. Thank you from the deepest chambers of my heart to every one of those wonderful beings who have made me what I am today to my family, to 
my dear husband, Mr. Raghunathan, and my children, Kaushik and Malrika, and the rest of the family. Thank you for being my support system, to my friends for having been my strength, to my Rasikas, who are my lifeline and inspiration, to my well-wishers for their heartfelt blessings. Above all, it is the one above, the Almighty, who has been so very kind, protecting and infusing strength into me every single moment of every single day. What makes this award so very special is the straight, stringent, yet specific selection criteria which truly speaks of the eminence of the discerning selection panel comprising of the members from the Endowments Committee of the Music Academy and Srimati Malika Srinivasan, Vice Chairman of TAFE and the elder daughter of Sri A. Srivasailam, Chairman Amalgamations Limited and the late Srimati Indra Srivasailam. It gladdens my heart and saturates it with joy when I heard that the committee made it public, made a statement that they found in me an artist befitting for the award and also mentioned that the choice was unanimous. This is like an endorsement for me that I am traveling on the right path in the right direction towards the right goal. I am grateful, extremely grateful, deeply grateful to the panel, to the Music Academy, the Citadel of Music, to Sri A. Shivasailam, to Malika Srinivasan, and Jay Sri Venkatraman for giving me this pat on my back, for granting this recognition that will certainly serve as an impetus. Thank you also to all those who have worked behind the screens to make this evening so beautiful, so glorious, so glamorous, yet speaking every bit of what we need to know about Srimati Indra Shivasailam.